This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I export out the second red wax matte cap sphere image? So to start off, I have ZBrush loaded up and I just have a polysphere model here loaded in and I have my material set to red wax. So the question is asking about the light spheres that are used in a matte cap material. So I'm first going to come up here to the material palette at the top and open this up. And then I'm gonna click this little icon here. This is just going to dock the palette to the side here. And now I wanna to go to the modifiers area and expand that and then scroll down a little bit. And at the bottom of this modifier panel, you may have an image attached. And these are the spheres that the matte cap is using to generate its lighting information. So depending on what your modifier settings are, the first sphere is primarily used as your positive stroke lighting. And then the second sphere will give you the lighting for a negative stroke. So depending on how you sculpt on your mesh, it's going to use both these light spheres here to determine how the model looks on the canvas. So let's say I want to export these spheres out to maybe use in another matte cap or in another application. So how can I go by doing that? So the first thing we need to do is we just need to set our modifiers so that we're only looking at one of these spheres. So currently our setting here has a cavity transition and a cavity detection. So we're getting a blend of both these spheres. So we wanna make sure that instead of a blend, we're just getting either sphere one or sphere two. So I'm gonna to go to the top here and we just need to change some of our settings. So the first thing we wanna change is this cavity detection. We wanna take this and bring it all the way down to zero. And then for our transition, we either wanna have this at negative one or positive one. Now you'll notice that as I change between the cavity transition here from one to negative one, you're seeing this polysphere here update on my screen. So this is switching between those two light spheres, between the first one and the second one. So with a cavity transition set to negative one, I'm getting the coloring of that first sphere. And since I have pretty much everything else zeroed out on my modifier here, I'm getting a pure representation of that first matte cap image. And then if I change my transition here to one, now I'm getting the matte cap to reflect that second sphere. So in order to just export both these out, we just need to set our transition to either one or negative one. And then we come down here and click create matte cap texture. And this is going to now generate a new texture from that matte cap. So you can see as I had my cavity transition set to one, I'm getting this texture generated. And then if I change this to negative one and then click create matte cap texture, I'm now getting the first sphere created. So now I have successfully exported out both those spheres. Now, in addition to just using this create matte cap texture option here, you can also create a double image like the one that is plugged into the red wax material. So to do this, we need to switch our scene into 2.5D mode. So first I'm gonna to come to the modifiers here and make sure my transition is set to negative one. So I'm getting the pure color from that first sphere. I'm going to now zoom in a little bit on my mesh here. So I'm making it pretty big on the canvas here. And I'm going to get out of edit mode. And then I'm gonna to go to the image panel over here and just select texture off. And then we go to the tool palette. I'm gonna click on the polysphere here and down in the 2.5D area, I'm going to locate the MRGBZ grabber. So what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to grab the 2.5 data on your scene here and generate a map from it. So I'm gonna select this brush here, and now I'm going to click and drag on my canvas, which is going to give me this box like so. You can press space bar to move this around. And I just wanna make sure that this box engulfs the sphere. Now, since we're in 2.5D mode, if you have blank space around your mesh, this box is only going to grab the 2.5D information and it's not going to grab anything else. So I can make this crazy size like this and then when I release, you'll see that it has now generated a texture, but you can see that the texture has framed the sphere. So it doesn't matter how crazily you draw out the MRGBZ grabber, it's only going to grab things on the canvas that contain 2.5D information. So now that we've grabbed our first sphere, we can now grab a second one, and this will add to our first sphere texture. 
So I'm going to go to my modifiers here, and I'm going to change my cavity transition now to 1. So I'm now focused on that second sphere in my scene there. And now I want to do the MRGBZ grabber again, but this time, instead of just clicking and dragging, I want to hold control and then click and drag. So if you hold control and click and drag out this MRGBZ grabber again, and now frame my polysphere, and then release, since you had control held that second time, it's now going to add that second sphere to our current image. So you can see now I have generated a texture with both those spheres. And since we set our material modifiers to give us the pure light cap sphere information, these spheres here should be the same as the ones that were plugged into the matte cap red wax material. So that process again to get these two spheres is to go to 2.5D, use the MRGBZ grabber once to grab the first coloring, then change your material settings, then hold down control and use the MRGBZ grabber again, and this will add that secondary sphere to your current texture, giving you the two sphere setup. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.